Hey everyone, I'm Greg. And I'm Maddie. Actually, I don't think we're filming. Yeah, we are. Red lights on. Oh yeah. Sorry, I should probably wear my glasses. Oh, honestly, Greg, you're as blind as a bat. Ah, which is technically not true because most bats aren't blind. They do have pretty poor eyesight though. And for nocturnal animals... Those are animals that are active at night. Yeah, that's not a great thing because you think they'll go around bumping into trees. Yeah, they don't do that. In fact, bats are so sure of where they're flying, they can avoid objects as thin as a human hair. So how do bats see in the dark? We're going to go inside to find out. Yeah. Today we're at the Robot Zoo in the Horniman Museum because this giant robotic bat is going to help us answer this curious question. Go on then, Mads, what have you found? Right, okay, so bats, like us, are mammals, which means they have hair all over their bodies to keep them warm. But they are the only flying mammals, and you can see their wings here. And their wings are made up of flexible skin that's stretched over long, tubular bones. But the key to how a bat sees in the dark is held here, in its head. And to find their way through the darkness, Bats use something called echolocation. Now bats send out sound waves from their nose and their mouth. Those sound waves, just picture them as a really loud noise that's too high pitched for most humans to hear. Although interestingly, some children can actually hear the sounds that bats make. And those sound waves, they travel out and then they hit an object like a wall or a fly and they bounce back as an echo. You might have heard an echo before if you've ever shouted into a cave or a canyon. Hello! Hello! Hear that? Bats listen out carefully for these echoes with their enormous ears. And depending on how far away it is, how loud the echo is, or what direction it's coming from, will give the bat all the information they need to know exactly what's going on around them. Oh! Got a butterfly 13 feet away. What are you doing? This is a brilliant way to understand what echolocation is. So when I pull this trigger, uh, a burst of sound of energy gets fired out the front of my model bat here. And if I hit a target, it will bounce back and the detector will pick it up. So I can move it along until there. I've just hit the fly. So that sound has gone out. It's hit the fly. It's bounced back and the detector has picked it up. And just, oh, there it is. It's seven feet away, which is about two meters. And what's great is that by picking up this echo, we know the size of the object, the fly, the speed that the fly is traveling at, and then we can close in on it for lunch. Bats are brilliant at echolocation. In fact, the pipistrelle, which is a type of bat, it weighs the same as two pennies and is as big as my little finger. It can catch as many as 3,000 insects in one night. 3,000? I know. What a pro. Um, that answers this curious question. Enjoyed that one. If you'd like another one from the Robot Zoo, uh, click on the bat. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell there as well and then you'll get a notification every time we upload a new video. Sounds good. Stay curious guys and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.